Hi everyone, Joshua here with Barista Warehouse, and today we're gonna to take a look over and review the Ranchilio Silvia V6 Espresso Machine. For a visual reference, here is the V5 model, and this is the V6. It's true, blink and you may have missed it, but there are some merited changes to the overall appearance and some extra goodies that have been included with the Ranchilio Silvia version 6 over that of its predecessors. And we're gonna be taking a look at these as well as covering the best workflow in using the Silvia. Now the Ranchilio Silvia comes in two colors. There's the full stainless steel case like the one that you see here and a matte black version as well that's happily no longer a limited edition. And the Ranchilio Silvia also comes in two models. There is the M model and the E machine which is the one that you see here. And the E features an auto off function that turns the machine off after 30 minutes of inactivity which is great if you're making a few espressos in the morning and you just want to walk away. Whereas the M model will require you to turn the machine off after you use it, but it's probably better suited to someone who likes to make espressos throughout the day. The Ranchilio Silvia has everything you want in an espresso machine to get you started making cafe quality coffee at home. Whether you're on a budget or tight on space, you will be surprised at the power that comes from such a compact machine. And this machine has stood out for over 20 years as a reliable entry level single boiler espresso machine for many good reasons. Let's browse over the specs now. This machine has a two liter removable water tank at the back and the components all tucked in at the front are really well organized. And this to me would be a piece of cake to service. The specs to take note of here though, are that the Silvia use a single insulated 300 mil brass boiler for efficient heating. And this can take 10 or so minutes to heat up, but really isn't too much of an issue. And it warms up using a stainless steel 1100 watt element, which is far more resilient to corrosion than models previous to the V5, which had a copper element. But with nothing else new up top, it still has a large enough cup tray to fit all your fine china. Up front, you have your on off rocker switch, which has a green light that indicates the machine is on. And underneath that is an orange light, which will indicate when the boiler is actively heating up. On the left of that, you have your coffee switch, and then below that is your water switch. Now the hot water is dispensed from the steam tap using the steam nozzle here. And then below is your steam switch. To round off the machine body, there's a solid brass group head with a three-way solenoid valve. And I honestly wouldn't buy an espresso machine without a three-way solenoid valve because it's just way too much trouble to clean up. There's a steam tap and a small but effective removable drip tray. The Porter filter is a 58 millimeter commercial grade Porter filter. And the one thing I especially like about this handle is that it's heavy, but also angled. So you'll always get level to the bench when you go to tamp. And speaking of tamping, the Silvia V6 now has a professional tamper included. That's a wooden handled 58 millimeter steel tamp that weighs around 350 grams. And this is a huge step up from the plastic ones they've had in previous models. And I wouldn't have even bothered with these ones, but now you're good to go to be making coffee straight out of the box. The Silvia 6 also has larger filter baskets changing from a seven and 14 gram standard basket to an IMS manufactured eight and 16 gram basket. Now on a blind test to see if I could tell which were which, I can easily pick out the IMS baskets as they are better quality baskets. And I think Ranchilio have done a great job choosing to upgrade them. However, you still have the rubber back flushing plug and it would be fantastic to have a separate metal blind filter included but I guess this does the job. One more feature to the V6 is the upgrade to the steam wand and nozzle. Now stainless steel, it has a smoother finish to the tip that may impact the steaming performance and will certainly add an easier cleaning routine without the edges that the old one had. So after knowing all of that, let's check out how the Ranchilio Silvia V6 actually performs. And being a single boiler espresso machine does mean you can't brew coffee and steam milk at the same time. I really don't know why this loses people, but by following the next easy workflow with the Ranchilo Silvia does guarantee you're gonna be brewing the tastiest coffees and doing the most to protect your machine. It all has to do with that one boiler we have to work with. We'll be making our coffee at around 93 to 96 degrees Celsius range, perfect for brewing espressos, but steaming milk does happen over 120 degrees Celsius, and that hot water isn't great for brewing. So which do we do first? We have to steam the milk. So my machine is on, but it's currently sitting idle, ready to brew coffee. I'm just gonna flick the steam switch on here, which will then turn on the boiler, and the boiler is then gonna be working to bring that up to a steam pressure. 
There's one thing everyone says about the Ranchilio Silvia. It has loads of steam power. It really does. And I'd go ahead and turn off the steam button when you're almost done steaming to get that machine then cooling down quickly, ready for brewing your espressos. So once I've steamed my milk, it's important to flush out some of that really hot water in the boiler through my steam wand and into either a container or some cups that can be preheated. And the machine will then pump fresh water into the boiler, filling it up again so the boiler doesn't run dry. And there will be some time waiting between steaming and making your espressos. So this is a good time to be grinding out 16 grams into your portafilter and then tamping it. A barista tip to keep your milk from separating is just swirl that jug a little bit. Now once the orange boiler light is off, with a quick flush of the group head to remove any of that built up steam, it should be at a good temperature to be brewing espressos. And with an easy locking of the group handle, hit the brew switch button and you'll start brewing tasty espresso shots. Now all we have to do is add our milk to our coffees. And in using the Ranchilio Silvia V6, with a little know-how, there is no reason why you can't be making espresso coffee as good as you would get in a cafe from an experienced barista. In cleaning the espresso machine, you do want to make sure you back flush the group head after every use, as I will demonstrate now. And a yearly descale to keep all those pipes free from lime scale is important. Personally, one of the biggest things you can do to impact the overall quality of your coffee, but even more so the longevity of these beautiful espresso machines, is to use filtered water. And this way you protect your machine from pitting and corrosion. And I've known well-maintained espresso machines like the Rancilio Silvia to have clocked up more than 10 years without a major service needed. So if you're not put off by the boxy, compact design, and you're okay even with the single boiler workflow, then the Ranchilio Silvia really is a reliable espresso machine that's packed full of commercial grade value components and is capable of lasting a whole lot more time on the bench at a great price. If you have any questions on the Ranchilio Silvia version six or even the version five, throw them in the comments section below and we'll get straight back to you. Don't forget to hit that little bell icon on your screen and that way you stay notified when we bring out new videos just like this one every week. If you've enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up button and thanks for following. We'll see you next time.